Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about projection maps, image texture projection maps, and how can you project a texture image onto your um, models. I've got a very, very, very simple scene set up with a sphere, a cylinder, a box that I've extruded one face and another cube, uh, and a plane for the floor. And we're going to project texture maps. And more importantly, we're going to project them using the projection map. Uh, and so let's go ahead and get started, guys. For the sphere, it's easy. The sphere will do it automatically, even if you don't project an image texture. So let's go ahead and get this one done. It's got the default material on there. It doesn't have its own material. So let's first thing we need to do is create its own material. So I'm going to create a new blend by clicking the blend material in the rendering shelf. Click, and that's the blend material. We can call it globe. And in the color, we're, we're going to replace the color with a file. So I'm going to click on the checkerboard icon here in the color section. Click, and then this brings me my create render node. And then I'm going to click on file and nothing happens. Let me see this. And then I click on the folder icon. So I get this um, open dialog box and it takes me right into my source images folder where I've stored all my texture maps. I'm going to go to this globe.jpg and hit open. Uh, and I don't see anything. I'm going to hit F. I don't see anything. Remember that the keyboard shortcut for wireframe is four, solid shaded is five, and then textured is six. So there is our um, textured model. Now, if I click on it, uh, this, this one worked perfect, not a big deal. If you want to project a spherical projection map, we go to UV and let's create a spherical projection map. Uh, here it is, guys. And I'm going to go to the options just to see what kind of options we have. Uh, and not, not much. It just says inserted projection uh, before deformers. So let's hit project. And there it is. There is our projection map. And it kind of fit it. Uh, it's a little bit uh, off. But that's okay. We can stretch it out here. If I click on these handles, we can stretch it out all the way to the top, all the way to the top. And then we can stretch it across. Right now, there's two Africas uh, and two, it's two, two North Americas and two Africas. And so it is half. I'm going to grab this red one and stretch it all the way to the back. Oh, you can see a close in right there all the way to the back boom and then you have control over it and there it is guys it's all the way once and it's stretched out and it's beautiful all right the only thing that i'm going to say is these handles that i've got here to to place my projection map as soon as i click off of that globe they're gone they're gone and I cannot get them back even though there is a projection here. We've got, we've got some uh, handles here. Those handles that appeared are gone and I don't know exactly how to bring them back. Uh, but we still have a little bit of control here. Okay, cool. The next one. We're going to project a cylindrical map on this one. Uh, before we do, let's create a new material let's replace the color with an image clicking on the checkerboard icon go to file and then click on the folder icon and then let's uh, replace it with this soda can uh, and you can see that this one worked a little bit different hit F um, it just placed it there but it's all weird uh, and so I am going to go to face mode I'm going to select all the faces um, around it just the faces around the can 
and project a cylindrical map. Cylindrical map here. Let's go to the options, not much, say project, and there it is. Same as the same as the uh, globe, it, it needs to be stretched out because I see the front here and I see the front here. So it's only half ways. If I grab this red handle, I can stretch it all the way to the back. You can see how that's stretching there. If I grab the green one, I can squeeze it in or size it. And these handles are pretty cool. I wish there was a way that we could uh, call them up when we needed them, but that's all there is. That's one way, one time all the way around, and that's all we need. Uh, again, if we let go, go back to object mode, and here's a cylindrical projection, yet we do have some control over it here, but um, we don't get the handles. Uh, on this box, we're going to do a um, flat projection. I'm going to hit F to fit, right click and hit face, and then I'm going to click on face. I'm going to just click on that one face and click on a new blend material and replace the color. Click on the checkerboard icon and replace the color with a file. Click on the folder to pick a file, to open a file. And I'm just going to click on this picture, picture, open. And you can see that it doesn't do a good job placing the file until you click on it, select that face, and go to UV, hit a planar projection map out. Now this one, we do need the options because you want to tell it in what axis are you going to project. And in this case, we're going to project in the Z axis and then hit project. And there it is. Again, we can size it we can move it around uh, and we can shorten it obviously hmm. I think I need to push it up a little bit and there we go once you click off of it you lose those handles but uh, the projection map is right here uh, and you've got some controls now on this one, it'll be different. On this one, I'd like to go ahead and click a new Lambert, replace the color with a file, file, open it, let's do this brick. You can see that it does a pretty good job just placing that texture on there. But if you select it and project a automatic planes, six planes, top, bottom, four sides, and then hit project. And it's trying to project it in all six planes. Not a big deal, guys. If you wanted to control it, you would have to project it on each of the faces yourself, but it does a pretty good job. So those are all the projection maps. You've got the spherical, cylindrical, uh, planar, and automatic. On this one, we go to object uh, and you can just select a new blend material, replace the color with a file, file, click on the uh, folder icon to select it. Uh, you can see that it, it came in a little bit big, uh, but if you select it and proje again project a planar map, uh, on the y-axis, project, you get these nice handles and you can size it and you can move it around. Since this is a seamless pattern, um, it doesn't matter how big or how small uh, and you can size it this way, however you want to size it. And there you go. Uh, the only other one that I'm going to do here is the can. I'm going to hold down the tab key, select all of these, and create a new blend, replace the color with a file, click on the folder to select a file, 
soda can top, and then um, select all of them again. I'm going to hold tab, select all of these faces again, and project a planar options in the Y axis. Project, there it is, and I like to size it, and I can move it around right about there and then click off of it there they are and there they are guys that's the um, um, image projection map under the UV here they are be automatic best plane camera based contour stretch normal base but we went over the cylindrical planar and spherical and automatic ones you've got some other options here you can play with them. Hey guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.